a quick cartridge review of the new Cricut Cartridge Art Deco and it's just been released I believe in this month's Hello Thursday and as you can see um, it's still in the box I haven't even organised it um, into my system into my storage system yet so you get to see the lovely box and you get some great images already on the outside but let's get straight into the interesting bit okay so here we are on the first page of the booklet so if I just give a quick rundown of what we've got on our feature keys in this uh, cartridge so obviously as per normal on these new booklets now we have a picture of the image in its entirety just as a illustrative purposes and there's the little overlay picture with a red highlight to show you where the button is for this particular image so then if we get to the actual um, images themselves the actual cut uh, buttons themselves we have our first is our image key itself then this is the shift button so that's the next layer and that's the shift button then we have up here the next layer so this will be your main your main key then you have what will be your layer feature key and that's again your main button on the layer feature key then your shift button and then we have the shadow on the main button on the shadow and it's called curtain call shadow which I believe will be the font so that's there that's on your shift key so basically in the grey this column here is your shift key and this column here is the main key but pressing also your feature button so whichever one it is so then we have curtain call which is a great font very art deco then we've got stage left monogram and again you've got um, the main image and your shift key again um, all of those so that would be like your base and then that goes over the top to create the um, kind of image three-dimensional look I don't know yes you can just see on the front here if I bring it up hopefully you can just see how it's got like the gold behind that would be and then you've got the black so if I show you on here the gold would be this one here even though a little bit's only a little bit showing because it's just that little piece that's showing through on that gap here and that's the black on that particular picture that we just looked at then we've got center stage monogram and then we've got stage right monogram okay so you've got basically an image and its layers and then one two three four fonts plus a shadow for this font as well okay so then we'll move on to the next one and I haven't looked through this myself yet so it'd be quite interesting so we've got this great plane and I think what's useful about these um, new booklets is the way that they've set out on the images the actual layer is in the colour that matches now it didn't always work on the old cartridges sometimes it did but now it is 90 I think 99.9% .9 accurate on the colour matching so you know when you're cutting out what colour you know if you wanted to do a blue plane sometimes it's not obvious that actually the wings were were that section or whatever so it wasn't always obvious which layer you were doing but now with the colors being matched up like that I think it makes it a lot lot simpler to work it out okay so you've got that fab font again at the moment we're just on the numbers of that great car and they're really really iconic images aren't they and, the, and this font here particularly I really like this one I like this, it's cute with the little bus, so cute. Oh no, that is nice. That was very iconic images on the kind of advertising hoarding, wasn't it, at that time. And I think a lot of these images would make, so far would make us some really great mail cards, which is always difficult. Oh, I love this, the um, Zeppelin. And then another car. And the layering is really nice. They haven't skimped on the layering from this, which is really good. Um, so I'm definitely going to be doing some cards using this at some point. I 
think my plan um, at some point is to, um, this looks like the Hoover building, but I don't think, it, oh, it says Park Central. And the other one was the Empire State. Pan Pacific. Very nice, but again, very iconic um, kind of architecture on this. Marlin Hotel, I think. I can't read it very well from here. The Chrysler Building. Now we've got onto letters, by the way, in case you hadn't noticed, I hadn't pointed it out. And then another building. Um, I presume that's Highland Park, I think it says. I can't... It's kind of abbreviated it, and I think a lot of these are probably in America, so I'm not entirely familiar with all of them. Um, Angel School. Box office, this one is, it says. It looks like a tram, really, doesn't it? More than a box office, I think. Pickwick. Oops, sorry, it went too far. I can't read that one at all, it's far too... I think it's something mosque, but I, I'm not catching it enough. <laughs> okay, so I've brought you closer now um, because we've seen um, some of the letters, so you kind of get the idea of the alphabet, but I thought it'd be quite cool to see the images a little bit closer. So here is our gold digger and our sugar daddy. And this is cat's meow and then flapper. Very cute. <laughs> I love that. And then we've got hoofa. Hoofa. Again, doing their Charleston, I guess. And then we've got Vamp. Sheba. Shake, Sheik. Doll. Killjoy. Not quite sure why she's a killjoy, she looks lovely. Okay, so now you can see we've also, we've got, past the alphabet itself, but we've got things like our ampersand, and we've got sort of um, some state, some kind of shapes and things. Um, well, we've now got a Z back, so I don't know. And we've got a greyhound. A horse. A duck. <laughs> Wasn't that? Oh, wouldn't it be great if you did like, do you remember my nursery card? If I had like the ducks, if it was like a, a lounge or something instead of a nursery, if you made something along those lines, and you had your flying ducks across the room. I think that was kind of more 70s, but nevertheless, I'm sure you could use that for that kind of thing. Very fun. And then we've got deer. Although I think he's a stag because he's got horns, or antlers, I should say. And then we have a bird, looks like a kestrel or something, doesn't it? And an eagle. And you can just see, I think it's a bit hard sometimes, there's like the, I guess it's meant to be like um, carving and so that's kind of the bit that's attached to the wall and then from there on is his head and there's his beak and his little eyes just in there and the beak comes around like that. And again, you've still got all these great letters. And then you've got Atlas. Nude. And then we've got like some full stop and a comma. And I guess we've run out of letters because we've now got a great um, kind of frame, um, really in kind of engraved, and then the base for it. And then we've got s some squares and um, this image here is quite good with the little um, P 
pieces coming out the side because again that's very much the kind of shapes you just see I think that's really cool to make use of and then we've got comedy so these are kind of your theatrical faces and again more frame here and the same sort of thing but slightly different shape again and then we have tragedy and there's a layer which is really cool again really um, quite fine so I think you'd have to put those at a, a reasonable size to pick out some of that delicate detail and again that shape with the pieces coming out and then we have card it says now we have a dollar sign and a great frame shape here and again another one here and here now we have um, actually I think we had it no that was a shadow here we've got an actual card base which is really good I guess that would sit onto that card as just a whole card and then another card great image and we've got a scent sign and more frames here and another card and then card number three and again this is definitely going to fit I'm sure because that's the same shape again as this one so I imagine what the idea is is that you make that for this to fit in and on these ones I don't know if you spotted the little red boxes these boxes here are when Cricut um, are recommending a minimum size that you cut this at so you can try and cut it smaller I know I've seen um, not on this particular cartridges but on other cartridges with recommendations and people have cut it smaller and it does work but it is trial and error and it is recommended to do this as your minimum size on this one it's five inches and here is the elusive pound sign um, I know this is something that we were talking about on my Facebook page just recently um, and somebody said to me that it was in the Art Deco cartridge and I knew that that was coming so I was really pleased because actually I did find one on Gypsy Wanderings but that was one of the few that I knew of there was some on some obscure cartridges and if you go on my Facebook page there is a list on there that the lady who was talking, helping me kindly put up okay and then we have card number four and we have a euro sign which again quite elusive I think to find and then card number five and these are great images I mean just as they are you would just could decoupage it up or leave it flat it would look absolutely fantastic and again these great shapes I mean you just use this as a as a mat and layer for your for your um cards without any of this part it would look fabulous and then we have our first border and again with this like with one of the ladies or, or something you put this top and bottom or, or even all the way around if you could use your gypsy to weld or even if you didn't you could I'm sure work it out to match it up enough fabulous and then we've got an exclamation mark in that really great style again and then we've got the border here but kind of a more simplified version which is really good and then we've got another border and actually if you look at these you could use these layers in their own right as a border and this isn't part of it this one here isn't actually part of this border but you could again use it now and here they haven't put anything in these two I always think that's a bit of a shame when you've got the button available that they can't find something to fill it with but anyway I shouldn't really complain with this for like 700 images okay and then we have another border and then we've got a great um, at sign and again a more simplified border here and here which is really good and even like these little images here would be really fun just as they're on their own right. Another border. I guess this is like a bracket. And another border. And 
and that's the last okay. one. So, and I'll just show you at the beginning here the project they did was this one here. But this is showing you that great frames that I was showing you just now, and you can see how detailed they are. And then you're able to fit those letters in the way they work. It looks like you know you can actually make them fit in in that way, which is really cool to know. Okay, so this was just a quick review of our Art Deco cartridge. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at this with me. I think it's an absolute fab cartridge and I can't wait to start using it. Personally, I think I like this even better than my Art Nouveau cartridge. I really, really like this kind of thing. I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't see the Hoover building in there because that's a fabulous example of Art Deco architecture. But otherwise, I am... Um, really really pleased with that culture and I can't wait to use it. Thanks for watching and I'd love to hear your comments. Speak to you all soon. Bye! Mm -hmm.